Hello, everyone, and welcome to the first Black session of this new cycle of Black sessions. This is the second time we do this, and it's a great pleasure to have you all here. Um, we were just we were just talking about this that there are some new people, some old people, or people that have come before. So today we're going to discuss <clears throat> episode one of season one of Black Mirror that is called the National Athlete. Uh, I would like to start by hearing your opinions, um, general ideas, opinions on the episode, if you liked it or not, uh, what was the most interesting part for you, just general ideas. So let's go with Richard Kammer, uh, Camilo. So try not to make it that long, he would say. So please, I would like to just start by sharing your reflections on the episode. Sure. Hello, everyone. Uh, pretty briefly, I'd like to say that I didn't like that much uh, this episode. It wasn't the uh, the most beautiful of the family of Black Mirror, but uh, I think there's a lot of things that we can address here, not only in terms of the actual social media and public opinion experience that we are, are presented here, but also about the political developments that we are seeing today in our world, and also about the, the conditions for the persons in power, not only political power, but also in terms of famous people and things like that. So that's it. I didn't like it much, but I think it's pretty good material to speak about other things as we always do. <laughs> that's, what, that's what we're here. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's funny because it, this used to be my favorite episode, like, or one of the favorites. Uh, but then I watched it again for this, uh, yeah, for this uh, meeting. And then I like, didn't like it that much. This is the third time I watched this episode. And I didn't like it that much as an episode. Maybe it's because I'm able to make the comparison with the, pre, with the other ones, as you were saying, that the others are really, really good in many aspects. So I think the discussion this episode presents is great, of course. Like every episode of Black Mirror, most of them, 99% of them, present great discussions. And I think we can go through some of them, of course. You gave, uh, very, we're going to discuss, actually, those uh, Nicolas, I think uh, you need to. Oh, but but it, no, let's no, don't don't silence your microphone. Go ahead. I would like you to share your reflections and general ideas on the episode. Before that, as after that, please silence because the sound. I don't know something happens. Yeah, but not now because you get an answer. <laughs> so uh, your turn. Yes, your turn. What do you think right. of the episode? Uh... This episode is very, very hard to see. I, I, I have a. It's the only episode I, I saw of the, of the Black Mirror, and I saw it, and it was so uncomfortable to me. So I, I think I, this, this I don't like. I, I want, I don't want to see this anymore, uh, and, and I stopped to see the city wow. because I, th I think uh, all the episodes will will make the same thing on me yeah. and this, this is not my thing. Uh, now... Yeah, but it's not like that. It's every episode is a single story. I, I just know that. <laughs> ah, you <laughs> didn't know that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, ah. now I, I, I'm going to give it a second try to the city because I pre-judged it. Uh, because that episode yeah that yeah shot. it happens I th I've heard about many people uh I've heard about many people who had that same thing like they watched the first episode and they what is this gonna be about I don't wanna watch this uh, but yeah everyone is a single story so uh I was going to say that maybe you are are you wearing headphones what what is your uh, microphone yes. ah yeah when you when you speak please try to uh, far away yeah, try to hold it that's it I think if you hold it maybe or something like that when you speak because it, it makes a sound but it's okay we'll still hear you yeah yeah so i don't have to ask you to turn it off by now because uh thank you karen what about you what are your thoughts opinions on the episode you liked it or not uh i didn't have the time to see to yeah, you told episode, us, but... 
yeah. sorry you can hire me anytime <laughs> you want uh yeah yeah you you can like you can watch it afterwards or you're going to know about it in a few minutes camila what about you um well um i liked the episode uh, but uh, with the dilemma um, ethics dilemmas it's very difficult um in my opinion the um, this cap uh, presents the consumer society and the problems uh, with the politics and the ethics uh, dilemmas in, in the society uh, because the people people need consumer uh, uh, the video or the essence uh, in this uh, episode and it's very interesting uh, but uh, it's difficult <laughs> yes that's why we chose the show <laughs> because it's difficult yeah, it's, it's a show. yeah <laughs> no but, but that's why we chose uh, to discuss show. yeah it's because yeah. it's because this is a uh, this is heavy like heavy yeah. shit let's say uh so we, we can discuss about many deep things related or presented in the episode. So yeah, you liked it afterwards. Uh, what about the peak part? Any, because Nicolas was saying he was feeling uncomfortable with the episode. Uh, did you feel uncomfortable? No, no. No? <laughs> but it's Bigger. interesting because uh, present the, um, present the um, comparatives with the politics, and with the, um, uh, 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 I don't know, who do you say, como uh, la idea, el comparar la, su, las ideas que existen sobre la política con, por ejemplo, uh, esta escena del cerdo. Ah, like, yeah, I get it. Like the idea of the, the dirty, nasty yeah. politics with the pig yeah. representing that he was having sex <laughs> fucking the yeah. politics. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. Interesting. We're going to discuss that too. Uh, Jen J Jonathan, Jonathan, what are your thoughts and opinions on the episode? Uh, like I said before to you, um, I see the episode like in the beginning of the Black Mirror. So I feel the same of Nicolas. When I, I see that, I just post the video and say, okay, this is too much for me. It's very controversial. I don't want to see an image of a pig doing sex with the guy. No, I, I don't want to see that. So I like, um, I post the video right again, like one hour before of, of this. And I, I do it, I just see everything and take notes for discuss my emotions or my thoughts. Yeah. And, and then I conclude everyone can, can ruin your life. If anyone put a video of you in, in the media, in the social media, you can do nothing and you can, Every, everyone, anyone can kill your life that way. I don't know how you put it in other words, but you don't have like free will, I think. It's, it's interesting, it's controversial. So that's what I'm, I'm here to. So that's my opinion. Thank you. Um, yeah, the power of the, sorry, uh, is it okay? Oh, yeah, because I was listening to myself. So the power of the media here is one of the most interesting, or, or not, not the, more, the most interesting, but I think the main point to discuss is the power of the media in our role as citizens in, with that, in that media, in the media, with the media, uh, the, how it can affect us and how we can affect it at the same time. So the, one of the things that was, that really got my attention about this episode was that that this time, this is that the third time that I watched it, so I can really analyze it. Um, they never, it was never about the princess. It was never about her. Like the important thing was that she wouldn't die, of course, but uh, it was never about her. It was always about the prime minister, the hawker, the media, the news, the actor, and, and people. And the worst part of it was people. Like people. We're not interested in like I get it like I get the prime minister being worried about himself, or the people who work with him worried about the prime minister. But people like regular people like you and me, they were all like, "Is he going to make it? Is he not going to make it?" Uh, but none of them talk about the princess. Um, I don't know who to start with. That. <laughs> this is so, so much a person. Let's go with the classic, uh, Camilo. Do you think that uh, society 
or people care, would care in a situation like this, would care about the victim, the princess? Like, do you think that it shows reality or it shows that maybe just an exaggeration of how it works? I think the most important component that we have here is not only the public opinion expression through social media. For example, we have here that the count of uh, YouTube views and the Twitter replies is like the main issue for the president or the, the prime minister here, but also the presentation, the presentation of the personality of the prime minister since the beginning. It was the first time for me seeing this episode. So from the beginning, I saw that he was kind of a strange person for a person that is in power in terms of his lack of personality, his, his kind of a weak personality and the his strong personalities that the that the counselors or the assessors uh, had. So for me, it was like the uh, the motif of the of all the episode. And you have also that uh, that implies that um, maybe that's why social media and the acceptance uh, percentage it's so important for him because if we see real politics and if we see uh, politics as are happening today. It's not that important, you know. We have, or we have, still a president who is pretty concerned about the surveys and the polls and the uh, and the CADEM studies, you know. And he is kind of the worst president that we will have. But he was like the uh, he was always concerned about the results of the immediate results. And we like to think, or at least I think that the politicians and people in power are more concerned about two other things. First, themselves, and also about the, uh, the long-term uh, power uh, struggles, you know? And you don't have, uh, that's why I never bought the second reality that was presented in the episode, because first, Princesses are not that important, as you said. That was, uh, that's the point. And in, and in reality, they are not as important as is presented here in the episode. You know, it's but like... In England, it, but in England, they are. Like, like, if you see, I don't know the numbers, the exact numbers, but they still care about their monarchy. Not at all. Not at all. No? Oh, yeah, looking, yeah, yeah, <laughs> no. yeah. Bring, bring me your data. <laughs> It's more like the farandula for us, like the, and the, it's more important actually in the United States than in England, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. really. And if you think, I was thinking coming, coming home just now about the actual effects, for example, that had the death or the marriage or the happenings of the life of Lady D. You know, yeah. and it weren't that important in the actual politic of England oh. in that time. You know, and I don't know. I don't know. That's that's something. But uh, the main issue here is about, and um, at least for me, it was like the uh, okay, social media is an immediate problem. Is an or the public opinion is an immediate problem, but you can change it uh, quickly by doing certain politic commun communication, you know, and things like that. And we have that the prime minister here is kind of an odd politician because he's not strong at all. He's like pretty weak. And in his weakness, he ends up uh, making love to a pig and doing doing things that, uh, that we won't see in actual politics, you know, even though we have that consistently in the last, in the recent decades, we have that politicians uh, are actually presenting their lives, their personal and private lives as something that it's interest for the public. You know, we had Trump who was always speaking and always making these remarks about the whole the sex and about women and about things like that that are of sin. You know, and I think the allegory here is that is about the actual dirty of the pig and the dirty that is presented also in the politics now. 
So yeah. I'll stop here. That's, I'll stop here <laughs> to, to breathe. Not, to don't breathe. worry. Don't worry. We, we love your, your insights. So don't worry. Um, I think that um, the message, the, the peak was a message from the terrorist. The terrorist was, I, what would, like, for, first of all, Camilos thinks that uh, basically that this is, this wouldn't happen in our society, like in our, in Chile. Like we don't have royalty, but let's say they take Alexis Sanchez. Uh, and, uh, and it's the same story and Viñera, especially Viñera, <laughs> needs to make love, uh, <clears throat> make love, have sexual intercourse with a pig. Uh, Piñera, we would, I think, even with Alexis Sanchez, we would go for the pig. Uh, and that's the point of the, the, the terrorist here. I would like to discuss two things. What's the point of the terrorist? Uh, what is the message maybe behind? Because remember, this is a terrorist attack. attack. And the terrorist actually won because actually someone else died because of the neg neg negligence, negligency, negligency of the police. So, uh, and because of the media too, because she was so interested in getting the first, in being the first one to get the, the news. So uh, first, I would like to know if, Karen, what do you think? What do you think was the main purpose of the terrorist? Um, as I see, um, I think that was like a humiliate the, Prime Minister? Yeah, just that? You think that, what's the, um, like, I mean, maybe... I think that that's another purpose of a terrorist attack? <laughs> like a personal I attack? Know. I don't see on the episode, but, uh, uh, but maybe what do you think? What that... do you think, what do you think as someone would do something like that? To, to demonstrate that uh, he's a, I don't know, it's a bad person or a good person, but it's a, it's a, I, I don't know. Um, yeah, but I think that this like a humiliate him. I don't know. Or maybe, maybe use him say. to humiliate politicians. Yeah. To yeah, because this is the most biggest, uh, it's the biggest, a representation of the politics yeah. in in that place yeah they call it establishment so he is like the or the queen so they're taking he's taking two of the main uh symbols of the establishment princess monarchy and the prime minister politics so um maybe he's using him as a representation thank you karen yeah what do you think jonathan Jonathan, Jonathan, uh, can I say it like an American? Jonathan. Jonathan, Jonathan what um, do you think? Jonathan. It's very interesting, the, the answers, because uh, I just don't think about the noble stuff. It's just a person. I, I just see a girl. I don't see the girl of a princess. I don't see the princess. Yeah. But it's true that the, the all the public is is the representation is the symbolic representation of the of the new of the i don't know how is the word in english for noble noble uh, what the noble the noble the uh, royalty like, uh, royalty royalty yeah royalty but i didn't care about that i just you see a, a, the person there and then i just question myself what i have to do in, in that place and when the secretary i don't know say to the minister, my family is going to be in danger and my, in my too, myself too. There is an, a shift in my head because I imagine if my, the, my cure person, my, my love, I don't know, is dying and then I just, okay, maybe I'm doing too. But it's like the, the terrorists want to make the establishment of you don't have choice if everyone 1.3 million persons have one opinion about you and, and you don't have a choice. So it's very like, um, you don't have a free will, something like that. It, uh, it's not only that, it's, it's, he's not doing it for his family. He's doing it for someone that he doesn't even know. He doesn't even care. 
It's true, true. But in my in my head, uh, just something changed for me. It's my family and myself in the in the in the equation, you know. But in, in the interesting part is in the end because all the people, all the public, is okay. You do it very good, and you go high in the rankings. But the the the, the wife is like the relation is gone. It's dead. So yeah, he got. He, Prove something to the public, but he lost the, the love of, of, your, of the wife. So it's interesting that part. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe it's part of was part of the terrorist uh, intention also to uh, like that because he's somehow saying that in politics everything is fake. When they fake, they want to fake the video, and they can do like they fake put a face in on top of you yeah. and and cheat us all. And he's showing that no, you cannot cheat us all. And that okay. if you have ruined so many lives, we, like we, I think he's just doing it for us, like representing us, we can also ruin your life. Like not your, like the president's life. Okay, the most interesting part is hey, all the public see that stuff. All the traffic is stopped. Every, everyone is in the house seeing the TV just for <laughs> what's going on. It's, it's like, and yeah, is he gonna do it? Is he gonna do it? Is he gonna do it? Yeah, that's like very tricky in their mind. But that's my opinion. I, I want to talk more, but it's fine. Don't <laughs> no worry. Thank you. Uh, Nico, you are raising your head. Go ahead, please. Uh, yes, I have some some insight. Uh, I I think the the point of the the terrorist is to destroy the prime minister. Uh, to all cost, uh, no matter how wh what he does. So you think it's a personal attack on the prime minister? Uh, I I think the whole thing is metaphorical. I, yeah. I think he 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 is attacking the, the prime minister, but but he's doing doing that uh, for for attack for for uh, attacking. All the 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 establishment, the establishment how, how you how you put it, mm -hmm. all the yeah. government. He's representing. The yeah. He's going to destroy the prime minister to represent a destruction of the establishment. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and, and 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 no matter uh, if if he don't have intercourse with with the pig, uh, the the princess dies. And and she uh, and he uh, and his political career dies too. Yeah. And and if he. But it didn't it, die. It, but it didn't die. He like yeah uh, yeah. Uh, I was uh, yeah. I get. But but I, I think uh, with every end, uh, the political career of the prime minister is dead anyway. So I think that. Was the the point of the terrorist, and, I think, and it was all. I think he had like I think um, I disagree on one point, just one that I think he had like two options: to save his political life and ensure his future as a politician and money and success, or let go that and let that go and take his family. And he chose because he's showing that politicians are dirty and nasty. He chose to have sex with a pig and uh, stay with politics because that's how they are. I think. Agrees, uh, Camila. What do you think? Do you think? Uh, what do you think about the message of the terrorists and the role of the um, prime minister there? Yeah, I'm agree with Nicolas. Um, I think um, the the terrorists uh, he puts intention all systems. Uh, the establishment, um, but uh, the um, consumer system, uh, it's the, uh, the very win uh, in, in this uh, episode, uh, because uh, all people uh, need more, more show, more um, uh, social media in, in this episode. Um, and this is a uh, tension in the old system. Uh, but is is attack all the political system. Uh, but uh, one uh, one thing is interesting in the final of the episode. It's the um, 
the valoration of this uh, act uh, of yeah. terrorism, yeah. uh, whole uh, art. Uh, and this is a uh, very confusing but uh, the valorate this form is uh, interesting. But I, I don't know. I, I think it's not art. <laughs> it's attack. But uh, uh, I think I think that you, you mean like the public, the public opinion that appreciated the the, 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 the like the valoration of the president. No, the act in the final episode, um, uh, the valoration uh, about the. The, uh, the attack uh, with the uh, prime minister, uh, it's comparative with the best uh, piece of art in the century 21. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of difficult to discuss what's art and what's not art. Yeah, believe you yeah. and this, yeah, and this act is attack is not art, <laughs> it's attack. But compare, uh, compare. Do we all agree on that? Sorry, do we all agree on that? Is this can this be art for any of you? No. <laughs> no. 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 If someone thinks that way, don't think that way. <laughs> no. Is there anybody here who thinks that this could be art? Because we know Camila doesn't. I, I want think to say that. something. Yeah. I want to say something. Uh, I don't think it's art for me. I, I don't. I don't see it in that way. But I think maybe oh, other no. people, maybe <laughs> other people do that, and maybe it's, it's art for them, for their, their minds, crazy minds. But it's art for them. But hey, I think respect, respect diversity, <laughs> crazy minds. I'm <Yeah>. kidding. <laughs> That's my opinion. Yeah, yeah. So I agree with you. I think that it could be people. Camila, you wanted to say something. I saw you. Yes, the, your mic, right? I think it's a key point to consider the the script uh, as a non common script about terrorism because they had this conversation in the beginning of the episode when they say, "Okay, so it's a terrorist jihadist. It's the IRE. Uh, who is this?" And at the end, it, it is like the a piece of art, you know, and I've discovered something that uh, part of the of the frames of the episode that it's kind of what you were saying about the princess. She's here like the protagonist and the main character of the of the story, and of course it's art. In if you consider the the thing of, about the, it's a story that we in principle wanted to see, but then when we saw it, it was nasty. And yeah. then we, wa we, we didn't want to see anymore. So it was like, of course it's art. Of course it's art in terms of not the intention maybe, or the, or the exact exaggeration that we have here as, the, as kidnapping someone and making death threats, but the presentation of it, it's of course art, not in postmodern terms as everything is art and things like that, but <laughs> in terms of the creation of a script in a, a, a show, a TV show that we wanted to see and everyone yeah. wanted to see it's it was like, like a live the, action live action show interactive of course of course and it was like the actual i don't know the finals of the world cup you yeah. know and, he, and, here we have, and and here we have the princess of course in every fairy tale we have a princess that is saved by a, here a common a kind of common man that is making the impossible to save the princess yeah of course and I wanted to show you something that I've discovered. Yeah. Watching the episode. This is a frame of the actual episode. Yeah. And it, it kind of surprised me because here it says uh, George and the Dragon, the George and the Dragon. And the George, and it, it's about, it's kind of a common name for bars in UK. But also it's the name for, uh, for the tale of a saint, you know, Saint George, who said... Yeah. A uh, princess, and who saved the princess, who was actually the uh, um, was offered by the village 
uh, to the dragon, you know, and it was like, uh, okay, this is what they are telling us. Yeah. It's like, okay, the the man, the common man here, this pretty weak prime minister, have to save the princess, and the princess does not have an, a main role or a main character here, mm -hmm. but it's the common man that saves the saves the girl and saves the day, of course, and we valorate them that, but. Uh, in summary, I'd like to say that I consider this is art because it produces something in people, you know, and it was watched that's, and that's it was point. consumed and it was yeah. consumed. And, it causes and a reaction. Are, of course, it's a reality TV show, you know. Yes. <laughs> that's it's it. like live interactive because uh, they were voting on polls all the time and live action polls, you were like voting, watching on the screen discussing with some friend, voting again, and making decisions about what was going on in reality. And I think, and also, I also think it's art. And I, think, and I know you're going to get angry about this, but we disagree. Uh, I also think it's art because it causes a reaction. That's the, I think that's the point of art. Um, creative. Como el blog de la feña. It's like <laughs> el blog de la feña, where you, that, you could vote. It's a straight, yeah. It's like blog de la feña, but real life, people tie in, prime minister, Prime time, blog de la feña. Uh, so yeah, um, and the thing that it causes a reaction, whether if it's and it's funny because everybody was so happy at the beginning about it, but then when we when they we actually got it, when they actually got to see him having sexual intercourse with a pig, he they all stopped watching because it is disgusting, and it lasted more than an hour. Because imagine, like I don't think you, it's easy to have an orgasm with a pig. And that was part of the tree, the, the deal. So no one wanted to see it. But we all, like we were saying that we are the common people. We all asked for it. Uh, Camila, you still think it's not art? Do you stay in, in your point? What? I, I, uh, do you, do you, still, think, do you still think this is not <laughs> art or maybe reconsider the idea? No, no, no. Uh, in my opinion, uh, it's not uh, art because uh, I think it's a way to uh, justify the attack on yes. the behavior wow. of all. Because thank you for, thank you for taking uh, this other, yes. other things uh, uh, different uh, uh, to art uh, produce a reaction in the people. Um, it's like, not, not wow. art. For example? Uh, for example, the um, um, a gift or a, a, um, read a book, uh, this produces a reaction in people. Yeah. But it's not, but maybe it's not the same not, impact, like not instant reaction yeah. and not that shocking. We could, we could say, and we're going with Jonathan now. Thank you, Camila. We could say that uh, maybe it's a question to leave there for you floating to reflect about can we call terrorist artists in whatever, however we understand terrorism, like for some people, we know if you're American, you have an idea of terrorism. If you are from the right side or the like, I hate going right or left, that's old fashioned. Uh, but let's say you, I don't know if you are pro Piñera or against it. If you're more pro, pro uh, you go with progress, <laughs> or you like traditional, uh, you, would, you have a different point of view on what's a terrorist act and what's not. So I would like you to think if we can call artists or terrorist artists at some stage or some point. Jonathan, what was, where were you going? A little bit. You wanted to say something. Please go ahead. Yeah, yeah. I just want to say something about the definition of art. Maybe the art here is the episode himself. It's not the idea in the reality, it's the episode. The reaction here, when we have this conversation about that, is the art. Because yeah. the idea like in the, the art reality, inside the art. Yeah, because the idea in the reality right now is disgusting for me. It's like, I, I can't conceive that in yeah. the reality. But it is, it is controversial. Yeah, it's controversial. And, and I remember another series is uh, the Unabomber. It's a series about. Uh, killer 
guy sending bombs to uh, persons to kill everything in their place. And in the end, when you finish that series, you admire the person, the, man, the mental thing. And that's the art too. It's very controversial, the definition of art for me. Okay. I just want to say that. Uh, Thank you. Um, I, it's funny because I was just talking about uh, art with younger people. Before this, we had another meeting that was uh, Alice in Wonderland. We were talking about uh, whether we can appreciate the book, even though the fact that Lewis Carroll, the author, was a pedophile and that Alice was a real girl abused. Um, so, yeah, and I was talking about this with teenagers. Uh, and I realized that I thought that they would have a strong like position because they are a very advanced society and like these generations are very clear on what's accepted and unacceptable. Um, and they didn't know. They were like the same we are like uh i don't know because sometimes in the no so uh i think that we can if you ask me personally maybe there can be some terrorist attack i can consider somehow art and maybe if i i am against that prime minister i can consider that the the, the terrorist act was a piece of art and, and now even though the fact that i don't like the idea of a politician having sex with a pig. I think the episode is a piece of art, especially because of what you were saying. It's controversial because right away it causes you something. It causes you like, we, this is made for us to talk about. Nicolas, uh, you're raising your hand, please go ahead. Uh, we can't hear you. Uh, yes. uh, I think uh, that, that's, that's why I have to, to um, well, I not can I don't know how to say it, but result uh, uh, that what what fact is that we are calling art uh, the whole attack from the beginning to the end the just the part uh, uh, of the video of the, of the prime minister uh, the having visual it, arts. Uh, uh, right. arts. Because, uh, what what uh, the whole of, of the or, or the episode that uh, that I think there is not the the Claudia uh, the, they said that in no. the episode they were saying that that was art yeah yeah so yeah. that they were not re uh, making a reference from the episode they, yeah, they yeah, were, yeah, I get it. Pointing I think to we the, were talking, we were talking about the art inside the art, like uh, yes, yes. The, um, that is they were they're talking about art, showing us an artistic piece of art, like I, attack I think and causing. I, I I personally don't think that that was like art, but art uh, supposed to uh, generates feelings on people that that is art is is something makes you feel something it's art and 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 artists uh, modern artists uh, they crush a can and and put it in, in somewhere and and it's art and and so it, i think it's a very flexible uh, concept yes. Uh, it's a very, it's a very uh, subjective idea, like what's art yes. for you may not be art for me, you know. Um, I was, I was thinking oh, that, I was thinking that, um, I forgot what I was thinking because I, I remember another thing that I was going to ask, both the artist and the, the terrorist. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that the terrorists, when they cause terrorist attacks, they are trying to transmit the same feeling they've been feeling fear or terror or i don't know hopeless uh, hopelessness uh, i think of let's say um i don't know um palestinian attacks on terrorists and palestinia and palestine palestine uh, and so i think these people they've been suffering for so long they want to transmit the same feeling to general population so the general population can empathize with their situation and somehow fix the problem. Maybe this uh, person, this artist was trying to transmit the same thing. Like maybe he grew up in this belief 
of authorities, disconnection of authorities, the lying of authorities, the frustration that it causes to put the other prime minister in such a situation where he feels so frustrated that there's nothing he can do. We just have to do what people in power or then tell him to do mand mandatorily. Um, based on that, I repeat my question and Camila would like to hear your answer here. Do you think that we can call terrorist artists since they cause a feeling, they transmit a feeling? Um, I don't think the definition of art is kind of the, uh, the feeling that you get of it, but, uh, or the subjective uh, feeling, but the reaction, just to add more pepper to the, to the conversation, we, I don't know if you remember, I was pretty, pretty young by that time, but here in Chile, we had something that was called the, the glass house in Santiago. Ah, uh, yes, I remember. Uh, I, saw, I saw it actually. I, I visited, I visited, but went outside and saw the house. Uh, it was like the 2000 or something like that. Camila and probably also, doesn't remember anything. Camila is very young. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. Google it. Google it. It's a kind of it's like you can, you can study case. Your, your, study your, case. ID, your ID is on the floor. I'm picking mine. Yes, and and at that time there was another discussion about the the actual art of that and the art of a guy who contract who who has this model. I don't remember the name. But she was walking Daniela naked something. in the... Ah, Baby no, Bump. No, Baby Bump. Baby, baby Bump. Baby it was Bump. another experience, kind of an artistic experience. And for example, in the glass house, the well, reaction tunic, of sorry, the people... Tunic, tunic. Yes, now tunic would be something pretty vintage, um, yeah. if you consider him yeah, today. Like, uh, but, but at that time, the naked body was something and the reaction of the people uh, on the naked body was something also. But uh, just to address the issue of the, the terrorism as a, a piece of art, I don't think that the difference is pretty clear if we consider something that is more extreme here that the, than the actual prime minister have it making love with the pig. If we consider the Daesh uh, attack, and the Daesh, especially the videos, the ISIS videos that they produced, and they had a highly produced a movie making experience when they cut the throats of people, you know, and it was just an act of uh, creating images not only to provoke terror in people, but also to uh, gain a uh, to gain more members, you know, and it and it was a strategy that worked worked a lot in terms of the uh, recruitment of new people for Daesh and for ISIS in, in this case. And it's kind of can you think about uh, people being uh, having his uh, his throat cut uh, a piece of art? I think it is. I think it is because it's a production, a kind of snap production that you have. Uh, that produces produces something and that changes something. Yeah. I think art is that is something that changes some changes something, you know. And if you think actually in in the UK also you have Banksy, you know, that he created a lot a lot of pieces of art that were kind of controversial in terms of okay, you don't need any technique to create this, but the political stance that was involved and the reaction and the change that it provokes was something that was different from the, the, the actual quotidian or daily experience that we, that we had. And I don't know, I don't know. I think the, we could go on in the, on this discussion uh, eternally, but for me, art and the producing of images that changes something in societies and in the culture, of course, is the very definition of art and its epitome. It's, of course, the, uh, as I was saying, the something, some, somebody being slaughtered on camera and we watching that on YouTube, you know, and consuming and talking about that and things like that. If, I don't know if you saw, uh, I think you, do, you did the, the rape, this collective rape that happened yesterday yeah, in Argentina. Argentina. In the middle and of the day. In the middle of the day. But the thing is that 
a lot of the images are that are presented as are kind of uh, shocking and it's it's kind of presented as a as a as a show you know and they are trying to portray it as a show as a show that we want to consume and th that of course changes something and changes something towards i don't know the atm that is coming and the actual experience that you as women have and we as human beings have about the the actual experience and the actual urban experience you know in the in our society so i don't know i don't know if it's art or not but i think that it changed something and that's the key thing for alice in wonderland for tolkien for yeah. anything that we have that. seen as, as produced you know I like the idea that we are like somehow defining what's art and it's it's been the process of this meeting like define what the concepts here they're just presenting you concepts very uh, like things that we all have different opinions on so we to see if we can agree on something i agree with you on the fact that arts i think art is being able to feel something because it's always about feeling. If you ask artists, it's all about the feeling, the emotions. Putting an emotion into like materializing an emotion, whatever that emotion is, and then transmitting that emotion to other people or causing at least because it's not the same, but at least to have someone to hear or to to get your message or interpret your message. And the more successful the piece of art is is the more massive that emotion becomes or or the more people you can reach with your message so based on that this is a great piece of art and based on that the media are da vinci uh if we if we think of i don't know uh the truman show it's like somehow he's designing an artist up there because he was called the artist and uh, an artist up there somehow designing playing with us and causing emotions, could we, we could get there. Karen, you are raising your hand. Anything you'd like to share with us? I I wanted to say everything that just you say. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. No, I mean, yeah, I believe that uh, an artist uh, need to, the, the point to make art is to represent the emotion of the artist. And that, usually cause a reaction in the people. Yeah, when we express so, emotions, people react. Yes, yes. And the, the way that you can represent or materialize, mater, materialize your emotions um, is, is different. And maybe in social media, painting, uh, I don't know, uh, sing, singing. Uh, but um, if we consider that the terrorists are expressing some uh, deepest emotion of there. Uh, maybe we can consider it this a uh, piece of art because also uh, change change something in the uh, public and also uh, cause emotion. Uh, yeah, the, the the purpose of a piece okay. of art is to last. Is to yes. trans, like transcendency somehow. Yes, and yeah, it doesn't and another change discussion. Any, yes? Mm -hmm. Another discussion is is about if it is good or bad art. I I will yeah. consider if I see uh, this big thing a bad piece of art, but it's art, you know. Yeah. There's a lot of when you go to a museum, a contemporary museum, you see a lot of crap there. That it's like okay, we are presenting here the I don't know the phone, and they put a phone with uh, something else, and okay, this is an installation. And mm -hmm. I don't consider it good art, but I can't deny deny it the the art part. You know, it's bad art, but it's actually art. You know, but 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 it, the the judge the judgment of whether if it's bad or good it depends on every person. Like probably if you ask of course. Uh, an Al Qaeda guy now, what do you think of this terrorist attack on the show? I think it's the greatest piece of art. It's beautiful how he he tortured the princess, and I think it's beautiful how he he cheat us all with uh, the cutting the finger and all that um so yeah i don't know if you made a point i sorry i interrupt you no that that was it that was it and, and i was remember also i think it was nicolas or jonathan who said uh, about the unabomber uh, series 
Uh, I remember one one of the lines there, lines of the script. I think it was the lawyer, the lawyer of the Unabomber, and she said, "Okay, you killed people to you put bombs to uh, to get published some half baked ideas and and make a political stance." And you know that's it. It wasn't kind of good art in terms of representing the idea itself that yeah. he wanted to transmit, but it was something that created the impression of art. And of course, you have sometimes you have people that consider art the art the the work, if you can say that, of the serial killers, you know, or things like that. But it doesn't mean that it proposes something new. Or it doesn't mean that it's good art at all. Yeah, yeah. No, not every piece of art is uh, necessarily significant or meaningful. Of course. I think there, there, like, it can be art, but the thing about transcendency, about lasting, about shocking and touching many people, is what makes a difference. Like there are many bands, but not everybody is the Beatles. The Beatles. Uh, so I just Over wanted right to. Uh, oh my god i just wanted to finish this conversation right now because that was my closing perfect line that you just ruined and i'm not going to have this discussion with you um try not to come next time no please come every time <laughs> you're a great contribution to our meeting uh guys uh it's been a pleasure i'm so happy to be back here doing this again this time with new people hearing new opinions um I just wanted to thank you for coming and for sharing your ideas. Uh, we will meet next Wednesday, same time, uh, episode two, season one. It's going to be the same thing, more people, and, and it's going to be better any, every time. It's going to get better. Uh, okay. Thank you, everyone, for coming. See you next Wednesday. Take thank care. You. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Be good. Bye. Bye, guys. Yeah.